with the science behind baby brain. A new study from the University of California, Berkeley, suggests pregnancy leads to big changes in a woman's brain, which may help a new mother bond with her child. Our chief women's health correspondent, Dr. Jen Ashton, is back. When I think of baby brain, I think of the forgetfulness, the mm -hmm. absent-mindedness, but that's not necessarily what this is focused no. on. So this, this study, it was a very small study, but very interesting findings. They compared brain scans of women before pregnancy and before giving birth and then afterwards. And they found some significant and surprising differences. They actually found changes in parts of the structure and size of the brain. Wow. The theory here is that those changes occurred to help streamline the mom's brain to prepare for more nurturing, vigilance, and teaching very much analogous to these beautiful orchids here in that they're still orchids but you have buds that then change to flowers they're still flowers the brain is obviously still the brain but there were changes in things that they could actually are see are they on permanent the changes well they don't know yet a lot of them they followed them 2 years out and some of them did go back but some of them changed for the better i think so it, it's a, it's a very interesting that topic. is really fascinating I mean, i think you feel like your heart can't get fuller and then it does no. and so maybe that makes sense cuz it's exactly. all coming from your brain, but you say there are pros and cons to this type of study. No question. I think it's really, really important with this study, because it's a loaded charge topic, that we don't go off into the political or social or even religious implications here, that we keep it medical and scientific. You know, does this show changes in the brain? Yes, because as an obstetrician, there's changes in the entire body in pregnancy. But the cons would be if this were used at all as a negative against women. Are we going to start scanning brains and say, up? Oh, your brain didn't change enough, you're not going to be a good mother, or you shouldn't have that job, I think that would be a disaster. Let's keep well, it scientific. Yeah, you can see how it would add to the guilt of someone who's not getting that bond after yeah. the baby's born. That's right. And it's way too early to make that jump, George. And I think right now what was interesting to me is that we all know women who say, you know, I wasn't that maternal until I yeah. had my own child, yeah. and then something clicked, sure. or we become better multitaskers. Um, interestingly, they studied male brains. I was going to answer. No difference. No difference. <laughs> no difference, huh? No difference not in even, the male not brain. Not even a little bit? <laughs> not even little. Even after the baby's born? No, so that's real. And of oh, course, I need surprised. to see this study done in adoptive moms, too, mm -hmm. because again, that's, that's, that's a very important part to study. Does the yeah. research in the study jibe with your actual hands-on experience as an OBGYN? So, great question, because this study looked at 25 women. I've taken care of thousands of pregnant women. There are similarities, there are differences. Um, you know, I think that every mom's going to have her own experience, but I found this interesting. Oh, it is yeah. fascinating. All right, thank you, Dr. Between Jen. two orchids, as George said. <laughs> Here I am. I can see the new <laughs>